Hello, and it's Pun Quest from Heavy Ammo Inbound, and today I want to talk about one of the best weapons to come out of Gambit, the Bygone's Pulse Rifle. So you can earn this weapon from any Gambit milestone, or any bounty that gives you legendary gear. So I got this weapon two or three weeks into Forsaken, and it has stuck with me ever since. And for every other showcase video like I've done before, I'm going to talk about this weapon in PvE and PvP. And we're obviously going to start with PvE. And as a reminder, when I'm talking about strikes, I'm always talking about either the 500 version or the Nightfall. As by now, I'm sure most people who watch these videos can't even get into the 400 strikes anyways because they're too high light. But before I go into the explanations, I would like to talk a little bit about perks real quick. So for the first showcase, it involved a weapon that had static rolls. In Forsaken, every weapon can now drop with random rolls. So what I'm going to do first is explain what the perks I have on my weapon, and then at the end of this whole video, I'm going to present two Mr. Punquist curated uh, rolls for PvE and PvP. Just my opinion, these are the ones that I would like to get the best if I had a choice, if I could choose exactly what I got. So uh, if you disagree with these curated rolls, feel free to, to uh, look past them and look for your own personal role that is more tailored to your playstyle. Don't look at me as the final option for, for weapon rolls. So the role I got was High Impact Reserves and Head Seeker. This role leans pretty heavy into PvP for me, but I'll go into how it acts in PvE right now. So in PvE content, this weapon is a workhorse. It won't burn the enemies down like a thousand voices or any other heavy, but it will get the job done. Head Seeker makes sending out higher level adds like Knights pretty easy, and High Impact Rounds also let you take out yellows pretty fast with the uh, added bonus damage. It's very good at cleaning up shop, but I would always recommend a sleeper or any other heavy weapon any day over this weapon when talking about bosses. It also has one of my least favorite sights on the weapon, which you can't change sadly. And this is a problem for all Gambit weapons, which makes it even worse because there are some really good Gambit weapons that get bogged down by just terrible sights. If it was smaller like the Chattering Bones sights, it would be much better. I would like a lot more, but it's just too big and in the way, and it's, it's just big enough to be annoying to me. But anyways, taking this into Gambit, it's great. It's a consistent ad killer. It can take down the high value targets, but it can also absolutely destroy invaders if they aren't using sleeper simulants from 10 miles away. Same with the Dreamy City and Raids. It's a great pulse rifle to get you through your first time. Super accurate for taking out Riven's eyes. Head Seeker and High Impact Rounds help take care of the Knights in the Vault. It's great for helping pop sores on Riven when you get to that part of the boss fight and taking out the, the darts that come after you. If it had better PvE perks, it would be a perfect replacement for anyone without a God Roll Go figure. But now on to PvP. This weapon's specific roles have made it built for my PvP playstyle. Missing most of my shots or hitting body shots, and then recoiling up to the head and high impact rounds help me finish them even faster, even though I spent the first half of the clip shooting at a wall. But without the crutches I have, this weapon is an absolute beast. Any role, I think, could work well on the Crucible because the base stats of this weapon are so freaking good. It just, it absolutely melts. Whether you body shot, whether you headshot, it'll get the job done. The only problems with it is I can see you getting outgunned by most higher, faster fire rate weapons. For example, the Redrick's Broadsword slash Claymore, or the Luna's Howl, just absolutely demolishing you. Uh, it also doesn't have that good of range. Once they get far out of your sight, you really can't do anything about it. You have to get kind of relatively close up, so that's kind of a problem. It reminds me a lot of the inaugural address, where it's really good at close range, but once you get farther and farther away, it becomes worse and worse in the end. So now that I've talked about it in PvE and PvP, I want to talk about my personal curated rules that I would recommend for both sides of Destiny. So for PvE, I would obviously recommend Outlaw Rampage. I mean, that's just the meta right now. There's really no other choice in my opinion if you want a good primary. Throw on maybe a Handling Masterwork to fix one of its worst attributes and you're golden. You're, you've got the God Roll. If you want to mix it up for PvE, I could say run Full Auto and High Impact Reserve slash Rampage with maybe a Reload Speed Masterwork, but that's just a band-aid for an Outlaw Rampage size cut. But for PvP, this is where it gets a little different. I think Kill Clip Outlaw would be a perfect role for anyone with a straight shot. However, if you're like me and don't have a straight shot, I would go with High Impact Reserves and Under Pressure with a Handling or Reload Speed Master Work. Both these perks work well in helping you towards the latter end of a gunfight, where if you're missing your shots in the beginning and keeping the fight longer and longer, eventually Under Pressure will help steady you. And I could be wrong about this, but I do believe both Under Pressure and high impact reserves both proc at the same level of ammo left in the magazine so it should work out in making you extra powerful and finally finishing the kill if you're having a hard time and this combo will work really well with a weapon like the bygones because it's such a good weapon at the default that you really only need the perks at the end of the fight if they're lasting too long but no matter what you get on this weapon it's gonna be just a beast in pve and pvp so i'd say hold on to one if you got one or just buy it from the drifter before i go I just want to say that Black Ops 4 is being released Thursday, which would be yesterday for when this video goes up. So Sunday's drafted video has been replaced by a Black Ops 4 video, but don't worry, when Tuesday rolls around and Festival of the Lost comes back, we'll be returning right back into Destiny videos with that. So anyways, this is Mr. Punk Quest from Every Moonbound, signing out. I will see you guys next time.